Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vinni. I am happy to meet you again in the solution and discussion on the UPSC Engineering Service Examinations in the subject Thermodynamics. This is lecture number 9. We are going to take questions on the psychrometric. We will see answers and the discussion on the questions from psychrometric subject. The first question. Which one of the following statement is correct? During heating and humidification process, humidity ratio decreases. Humidity ratio is specific humidity. During the cooling and dehumidification process, humidity ratio increases. During cooling and dehumidification process, dry bulb temperature increases. During heating and humidification process, dry bulb temperature increases. Among the four statement, the correct statement is during heating and humidification process, dry bulb temperature increases. We will see how in the next slide. And this is the psychrometric chart. The x axis is the dry bulb temperature and the y axis is the specific humidity or humidity ratio. And we have blue color line which is the relative humidity and the red color line, incline line, they are the enthalpy lines. And the green color line, they are the specific volume. And here we have the wet bulb temperature. So, in the scale saturated vapor line, we can measure the wet bulb temperature, enthalpy and the dew point temperature. So, here the process is heating and humidification process. So, during which dry bulb temperature increases. So, this is the line represent the heating and humidification process. Heating temperature increases, humidification specific humidity increases. So, you will get an incline line. So, the dry bulb temperature is increasing. So, in this he here, it is from 22 degree to approximately 40 degree. Dry bulb temperature increases. Next question, specific humidity is defined as mass of, there are four options, water vapor contained in vapor, in a air, va air vapor mixer per kg of dry air. It is mass of water vapor contained per kg of air, va air vapor mixer. It is mass of dry air contained per kg of air vapor mixer, none of the above. The correct definition is specific humidity is defined as the mass of water vapor per, per unit mass of dry air present in a mixer of air and water vapor. So, W equal to M by G, where M is the mass of water vapor, G is the mass of the dry air. So, it is kilogram per kilogram of dry air. So, the correct answer is option A. Specific humidity is defined as mass of water vapor contained in a in air vapor air vapor mixer per kg of dry air. Next question: Consider the following statement for sensible heating. In the process, wet bulb, wet bulb temperature increases, relative humidity decreases, vapor pressure remains constant. Which are all the above statements are correct? One, two, three, one and two, one and three, two and three. The correct answer is one and two only. So, during the sensible heating process, wet bulb temperature increases and uh, relative humidity decreases. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, this is the sensible heating process. So, relative humidity, look at here, 60 percent to 20 percent, it is decreasing. Wet bulb temperature, you have to draw one incline line along the red color line. So, here it is somewhere 16 degree and here it is 23, 24 degree. So, the wet bulb temperature along the red line, it is increasing. So, wet bulb temperature increasing and the relative humidity decreases. The next question, in a psychrometric chart, which of the following statement is or correct? It is used to determine the properties of the refrigerant. It cannot determine wet bulb temperature, dry bulb temperature. It is seldom used for air conditioning design. It provides plots for moist air conditioning. The correct answer is, it provides plots for moist air conditioning. Psychrometric chart is used for uh, providing, it provides the plot, it is a diagram representing the moist air conditioning. Next question, in a psychrometric chart, horizontal line represents constant humidity ratio, vertical line represents constant dry bulb temperature. Horizontal line rep uh, represents constant humidity ratio and vertical line represents the wet bulb temperature. Horizontal line represents the dry bulb temperature and vertical line represents the constant absolute humidity ratio and uh, wet bulb temperature. So, uh, the horizontal line represents the wet bulb temperature and vertical line represents the constant humidity ratio. The correct answer is horizontal line represents the humidity ratio and vertical line represents the constant dry bulb temperature. 
So we'll see how. So this is the horizontal line that represents the humidity ratio and vertical line that represents the dry bulb temperature. So this is dry bulb temperature vertically we can measure and horizontally we can measure the specific humidity or humidity ratio. Next question, insensible cooling of moist air, its physical properties vary as follows. Sensible cooling process, wet bulb temperature decreases, dew point temperature remains constant, relative humidity increases. So, the answers are 1, 2, 3, statement 1 and 2, 1 and 3 and 2 and 3. The correct answer is all the three statements are correct. So, during the sensible cooling process, wet bulb temperature decreases, dew point temperature remains constant and relative humidity increases. So, we will see how here. So, this is the sensible cooling process where the dew point temperature remains constant. So, along the horizontal line, here you can read the dry bulb, uh, dew point temperature and the wet bulb temperature decreases. So, here look at the temperature, it is 23 degree, 22 degree and it is decreasing. Wet bulb temperature decreases and the relative humidity increases. So, here the relative humidity is somewhere 20 and here it is 80. So, the relative humidity increases, dew point temperature remains constant, wet bulb temperature decreases. Next question, in a psychrometric chart, relative humidity lines are curved, inclined and straight but not uniformly spaced, horizontal and non-uniformly non spaced, horizontal and uniformly spaced. The correct answer is curved. Relative humidity lines are curved line. So, we will see the psychrometric chart. So, in the psychrometric chart, the blue color lines are the relative humidity line. So, they are curved in nature. So, 10 degree, 20 degree, 30 degree, 30, sorry, 10 percentage, 20 percent, 30 percent, 40 percent, 60 percent, 80 percent and the red color line is saturated air which is 100 percent relative humidity. Next question, air at 30 degree Celsius and 1 bar has a specific humidity of 0 0.016 kg per kg of dry air. By considering the saturation of water vapor at 30 degree Celsius as 4.246 kilopascal, the relative humidity of the air will be 66.1 percentage, 60.2 percentage, 58.8 percentage, 56.8 percentage. The correct answer is 58.8 percentage. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, the answer is given here. Specific humidity W equal to 0 0.622 multiplied by PV by P minus PV, where P is the uh, total pressure, uh, PV is the vapor pressure. So, the given value, specific humidity 0 0.622. 016 equal to 0 0.622 multiplied by PV by 100 minus PV. So, solving this equation, we will get the PV vapor pressure equal to 2.508 kilo Pascal. Relative humidity 5 equal to PV by PS, vapor pressure divided by the saturation pressure which is equal to 2.508 divided by 4.246 which is 0 0.59 which is 59 percentage. Next question. Consider the following statement in respect of an evaporative cooling process. The wet bulb temperature remains constant, dew point temperature remains constant, enthalpy remains constant. Which of the above statements are correct? 1, 2, 3, 1 and 2, 2 and 3 and 1 and 3. The correct answer is 1 and 3. So, this is evaporative cooling process where the wet bulb temperature remains constant, enthalpy remains constant. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, this is the psychrometric chart. The evaporative cooling is shown by the line pink color line. So, along the line, the specific humidity, uh, uh, sorry, enthalpy and the well-bulb temperature, they are constant. So, the red color line is the enthalpy and this uh, curved line with the temperature marking is the well-bulb temperature. So, here well-bulb temperature is constant and uh, enthalpy is also constant. Next question, the well-bulb temperature and dry bulb temperature of air, air sample will be equal when air is fully saturated dew point temperature is reached, the partial pressure of water vapor equals the total pressure, humidity ratio is 100 percent. Which of the following statements are correct? 1 and 2, 2 and 3, 3 and 4, 1 and 4. The answer is 1 and 2. So, when the air is fully saturated, the dry bulb temperature, wet bulb temperature, dew point temperature are same for the fully saturated air. So, the correct answer is statement 1 and 2. For the wet bulb temperature, dry bulb temperature of a air vapor will be equal when the air is fully saturated and the dew point temperature is also reached. If the relative humidity of the atmospheric air is 100 percent, the wet bulb temperature will be more than dry bulb temperature equal to dew point temperature equal to dry bulb temperature less than the dry bulb temperature. The correct answer is equal to dew point temperature and equal to dry bulb temperature.
So, we will see how here in the next slide. So, answer dry bulb temperature, wet bulb temperature, dew point temperature are the same for fully saturated air. So, this line red color line that indicates the fully saturated air where the dew point temperature, wet bulb temperature and the uh, this uh, dry bulb temperature all are equal. The next question, if atmospheric condition are 20 degree Celsius and 1.013 bar and the specific humidity humidity of 0.0095 kilogram per kilogram of dry air, the partial pressure of water vapor, partial pressure of vapor will be nearly 0.076 bar, 0.56 bar, 0.036 bar, 0.016 bar. The correct answer is 0.016 bar. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, the answer specific humidity is given by W equal to 0.622 multiplied by PV by P minus PV. Substituting numerical values 0.0095 equal to 0.622 multiplied by PV by 1.013 minus PV. So, solving the equation, the partial pressure of water vapor will be 0.0152 bar. Next question, the phenomenon that enables cooling tower to cool water to a temperature below the dry bulb temperature of air is termed as chemical dehumidification, adiabatic evaporative cooling and cooling and dehumidification sensible cooling process. So, this is adiabatic evaporative cooling. We stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject. I upload the video lectures of all the subject in the YouTube channel. Uh, you can subscribe the channel, use the uh, video lectures for your better learning. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can contact me for any clarification on the subject. We will meet again with another video lecture on the solution of UPSC questions. Until then, bye.